This video will cover the topic determining whether two functions are inverses of each other. In order to determine whether two functions are inverses of each other, we must use function composition. So let's start by briefly reviewing composition of two functions. If we are given f of x equals x plus 6 and g of x equals x minus 6, to find the composition of these functions, f of g of x or g of f of x, we must substitute one entire function for the variable in the other function. And if both of these compositions are equal to x, then the two functions are inverses of each other. Let me see if I'm understanding this correctly. To find f of g of x, I substitute g of x for the x in the f of x equation. So my new equation would read f of g of x equals x minus 6 plus 6. That's right. And we would follow the same process for finding g of f of x, substituting the entire f of x function for the variable in the g of x equation, resulting in g of f of x equals x plus 6 minus 6. To find out whether these functions are inverses of each other, we need to simplify each equation. Well, negative 6 plus 6 and 6 minus 6 both equal 0. So f of g of x equals x and g of f of x also equals x. Does this mean the two functions are inverses of each other? Exactly. Since both compositions are equal to x, the two functions are inverses of each other. Let's do another quick example. Suppose f of x equals negative 2 divided by x and g of x equals 2 divided by x. Since fractions with 0 in the denominator can't exist, the parameters for this problem are that x is not equal to 0. Next, we can solve for f of g of x equals negative 2 divided by 2 over x. And then for g of f of x, it's equal to 2 divided by negative 2 over x. Both of those equations simplify to negative x. Does this mean they're inverses of each other since the results are equal? Not exactly. The results of the compositions must both be exactly equal to x in order to say that the two functions are inverses of each other. So since these two functions are equal to negative x, we cannot say that these two functions are inverses of each other. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand this now, but let me quickly summarize just to be sure. To find the inverses of the two functions, we first solve for the compositions of the two functions with each other, and then check to see if both compositions simplify to x. If they do, then we can say the functions are inverses of each other. If the compositions do not reduce to x, then the two functions are not inverses of each other. That's right. 